let me take you back to 1999. Hey, everybody, an old man's talking. Oh, we were introduced to so many things in 1999. The Matrix, Wild Wild West, SpongeBob. You could even download your favorite music on a thing called a Napster for free. Pokemans was also bigger than ever. The Game Boy games and the trading card games were already ruining schools. Many school officials think the craze has gone too far. So you know kids were having fun. And in 1999, we were introduced to the first 3D Pokemon on the N64. Pokemon Snap. We loved it. We ate it up. Ooh, ooh, just look at the graphics on the Genghis Khan. But then once Pokemon Stadium came out, it was like, Get this baby photo shoot game out of my face. I want to battle my Game Boy Pokemon in epic 3D. What this? Oh my god, this takes forever. Alright, kill him in one hit, like all the Oh, I get to do a whole new round of turn. Alright, so you just have to do that another 800 times. No! God, please, no! 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 It turns out, Pokemon Snap was the game that stood the test of time way better. Technically, it's an on-rail shooter, but instead of killing criminals in cold blood and getting a good cop bonus, you're just taking pictures of Pokemon. Sounds boring, I know. Well, it isn't. This game is actually a lot of fun. You start out with only two levels to play, but the better pictures you take, the more levels and items you begin to unlock. There's an actual game underneath just the photo taking. Pokemon will jump out at you, you can feed them and lure them or kill them with poison. Each Pokemon has a predetermined path that you can often mess with. But more than that, it's just got so much charm and little secrets to uncover and it makes it a real joy to play. There's some weak points, mainly being that it's so short you can beat the game in a single sitting. There's a bit of a lack of variety in interacting with the world and the aiming on the N64 joystick is pretty wonky. But most of these problems are just limitations of the time. 1999. But here we are in 2020 and they finally announced another Pokemon Snap game. And for the first time in a while, I find myself caring about Pokemon again. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I'm already excited because I know that taking photos is just going to be easier, especially even with the gyro controls. I just hope it's not as shallow and short as the original. And it's going to be really crazy because at the time of the original, there's only 151 Pokemon. Now there's... I don't even know how many Pokemon there are. Hold on. 890. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, I don't really see how variety can be an issue in this one. But we'll see, I guess. 890.